Meta's new AI is coming and Captain America gets married. We'll talk about it today. And is our local water safe to drink? We'll, found out, we'll find out right here on the Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Taiwani. We're here with our co-host, Chia. Today's Tuesday, September 12, 2023. Woo. Woo. So, how's everyone's morning? Today's sixth grade testing, right? For math? Yeah. 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 Good luck, guys. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Hope <laughs> you guys do well. Yeah. I don't think it counts, right? Um, no. They're just trying to see where you're at. Yeah, okay. this is... It doesn't count now, at least. Okie dokie. Yeah. But, but it still kind of counts. Huh? But it still kind of counts. But kind of. But for, let's check out the weather for today. For entertainment news, today we're talking about Chris Evans and Captain America star married actress Alba Baptista September 9th in an intimate ceremony at a private residence in Massachusetts. Multiple outlets reported September 10th, Chris 42 and Alba 26 exchanged vows in front of family and friends, including several of the groom's co-stars in Marvel superhero films, such as Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, and Jeremy Renner. According to, the page, according to page six, which first reported the news, people noted that the Avengers stars were spotted in nearby Boston recently, along with Robert's wife, Susan Downey, and Chris's wife, Elsa Pataki, and actor who is now his wife and starred in the Netflix series, Warrior Nun. Oh, okay. Never announced an engagement prior to their wedding. They have been reported, they've been reportedly together for two years and they sparked romance rumors in November, 2022. And they were spotted walking together in New York. Oh, oh wow. Oh, cute, cute. Cute. It's like, um, ready to do you guys like Marvel movies? Yes, 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 yes. 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 I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. Me too, me too. Have you guys seen The Blue Beetle? The, the who? what? The Blue Beetle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. It, yeah. Yes, it's so cute. 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 <laughs> um, okay. Cool. I have said a DC movie. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> DC movie. No, because she said it was Marvel. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Okay. Guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Come on, Thailand. Continue. I got Continue. confused. But <laughs> I think it's going to be a good movie anyways. But for Life Saturday, we're also talking about Meta's um, platforms is working on a new artificial intelligence system intended to be as a powerful by the most advanced model offered by OpenAI, the Wall Street Journal reported on Sunday. The Facebook parent is of aiming for its AI model to be ready next year. The journal said adding, t adding it will be several times more powerful than commercial version, dubbed Llama 2. Llama 2, okay. <laughs> Llama 2 is Meta's open source AI model launched in July and distributed by Microsoft to compete with OpenAI's ChatGBT and Google's BARD. 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 Do you, I've never heard Bard. of that. I know about Chat GBT. I just don't know about Google's, Google's Bard. Yeah, I heard about that? that. I heard about Chat GBT. I know a lot about Chat GBT, but it sounds yeah. interesting. Okay, it's kind of it is kind of scary though, cause like yeah. it's getting a little too small. Yes, I heard too like smart. they start like using voice on AI, mm. so like they'll scam people. Ew. Yeah, and like they're making songs with some AI, which <laughs> is kind of cool. That's well, that's the part that's cool. 
I guess. Serious. But like scamming people. Mm. Uh, scamming people. <laughs> no, that's not cool. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, guys. So, a former New England Patriots quarterback, Tom Brady, made his much anticipated return to the football field, where he celebrated Sunday during a special halftime ceremony as the Patriots took the Philadelphia Eagles, the the former quarterback who played 20 seasons with the team and won six Super Bowls reunited with the former teammates and fans during the halftime tribute. The retired NFL star, 46, he was honored by the New England Patriots at the halftime during their first during their game against the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday with a touching ceremony which Brady had a chance to thank the fans who cheered him on for 20 seasons and as the team retired his jersey number 12. Wow. That's my jersey number. Oh, really? Yeah. For track or cheerleading? Cheer? Oh, no, for like basketball and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm um, lucky number 12. For me, Tom Brady reminds me of my second grade teacher. He was like, what? liked him a lot. What? Okay. <laughs> it's random, but yeah. it reminds me a lot of him. Okay. <laughs> well, what's for local? Back in March, Sanford was reassuring the community that the water is safe to drink following the discovery of Forever Chemical that's been linked to health issues found in a portion of the city's water. City officials found the chemical called 1,4-dioxin in 2013, but the amount in the water is at a very safe level. However, the city isn't taking chances since they don't even know what the source of the chemical is at this point. The city put out a statement Wednesday with the headline, The city's water is safe, and went out to talk about issues discovered over the course of time with, re with regard to re certain pollutants found, but the release never said what those pollutants were. Attorney Jake Varn said 1,4-dioxin is a chemical that the city has been dealing with since 2013, but maintains that the water is safe. Mm. Don't drink from the tap water, guys. Yeah, tap water is nasty. nasty. I only drink filtered water. Filtered. From the fridge. Yeah. Like, fridge. If, you, if like, you're making like Kool-Aid or lemonade, you should always boil your water first. Mm -hmm. like it's, always, it's a safe option. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's it gets like option. all the little white yeah. stuff on the all side. All the little nasty bacteria that you don't want in your water because I don't want that in my water. No yeah. diseases. Yeah. Ew. It's not good minerals. Yeah, only clean water. Mm -hmm. But let's move on. Let's check out the warrior updates. Why did I say let's check out? Parents and students, if you are interested in after-school tutoring, please scan the QR code on the screen to register. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Munoz. Yearbooks are on sale. Don't forget to pre-order your yearbook and reserve your copy. You may purchase your yearbook by going to jostens.com or by scanning the QR code on the screen. Picture day will be Friday, September 29th. These are the pictures that will go in the yearbook, so be sure to look your best. And that's about it for worry updates. Excited. Short and sweet. Yep, all really quick. Know. Super quick. Yeah, guys. <sighs> well, we're done. But students, just a reminder to check in, check in for the goals you've set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring. Don't, and be aware that we also have a mental health counseling on campus whenever you need it. And remember the tardy in cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transitions and get to class on time, on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all the SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave, believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage and excel in learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. We'll see you next time right here on The Brave Club. Toodles! Bye! Bye.